Howdy doody everyone. Tea's up. The tea is a brood. Um, Sort my keyboard out. I take my keyboard to work because it's slightly odd and I kind of have been getting used to it so um, rather than trying to use a different one at work I take this one. However I use these mouse pads as well and there's two of them and on each side there's wrist straps, leanings, wrist leanings or pads but they're normally adhesive but they get dusty being carried around so I just need to sort them out because I've literally just brought them back uh, from the office today let me get some alcohol and stuff on these get rid of some of the dust how's everyone doing ah. Albez. Is it Albez? Hola. How are you doing? Hi, uh, Laurie. Thank you for telling me the audio is good. So I forgot to ask. I'm just trying to clean some of this crap off these. So what's everyone been up to this week? Anything interesting? This isn't the best thing to clean this because this isn't what you might call lint free. I don't know what else I can use really. I guess you probably want to use a damp cloth normally to clean this sort of things. You don't speak any English, Albez. Oh dear. I'm afraid this this uh, stream tends to be in English. I don't really speak Spanish, I'm afraid. Other than hello and stuff. Oh, there's so much crap on these things. It just, it's like a magnet for dust. This most definitely isn't the best way to clean it, but it might get it good enough that I can use for the moment. I actually need something a bit better to clean these with. At least it might adhere to the desk now and stop the keyboard moving about as well. Should be kind of good. Yay. Also, the keyboard is filthy as well, but I've got a brush for that. Actually, I need to take the keys off this and give it a good uh, clean out. It's due for one. Get rid of the keyboard detritus. Cheers, oh. everyone. To let everyone know that we're live. Be a good idea. On the Discord. <sighs> what you been up to, uh, Laurie? Working on anything? So I've lost my um, the camera moved again. I 
Yes, I can put it there. That looks slightly out of focus. That's a bit better. No FPGA stuff at all. Wow, Laurie, what's happened? No FPGA stuff. Are you having an FPGA week off? Oh, you've been cycling. That's good. That's healthy. I miss, um, I used to do, I, I normally walk like an hour a day at lunchtime, but I haven't been able to do that on this new contract recently. And where it is, even though it's in the countryside, uh, it's on an industrial estate, which is next to a farm. And the only way you can get out of it is through the road. And then the road meets a country road, which has no, no sidewalk or anything. And it's quite busy. And it's actually quite dangerous walking along it. To even get somewhere. I've had a little explore around, but I haven't found any decent walking areas, which is a bit annoying. Because I quite like to go out and get some air, some exercise at lunchtime. I haven't found a decent way of doing it. I may actually have to drive somewhere to do it. Actually, the beach isn't far away, but that would make um, make my lunch times a bit longer. I'm not sure if I want to do that. I uh, always says I'm away next week, so probably no FPGA stuff then either. So you're having two weeks off FPGA. Wow. So it's going to be exciting when you do eventually come back. Come back to it. So is it road cycling that you're doing, Laurie? Not really done much road cycling. I used to do quite a bit of mountain biking. Uh, I don't have a mountain bike anymore. I've got... Um, somewhat knackered but i do have a kind of um not a racing road bike but a lightweight aluminium frame bike but it's more just for occasional journeys and i haven't used it a lot recently because um we used to have a, a place for it in the front but it's become dilapidated and it needs getting rid of so when we do redo our drive eventually and we'll put a new uh like bicycle shed or something there that we can have the uh, cycles in then I'll be able to access it again at the moment it's out in the back and because we don't have access from the back apart from through the house it's a bit inconvenient so I often don't bother using it lazy really uh, it always says mainly roads but canals and woods as well yeah I like cycling along the canal uh, the nearest one here is the uh, Basingstoke Canal. I go quite a way on that. Uh, and as long as I go in the direction of Basingstoke, it's okay. It's a good path. In the opposite direction, uh, it's a bit mountain bikey, quite frankly, rather than um, pup, rather than you know like a canal side path. It's a bit, um, a bit of a nightmare that bit. Well, a section of it is anyhow. Further down, it's a bit better. And the Basing Circle Canal will take, if you're on it, you, you can go all the way to um, basically the M25 where it meets with the Riverway, the navigable Riverway Canal or River. And I've cycled up there as well quite a lot. In fact, those two meet, I think, near where I used to work near um, Brooklands, which is just in, inside the M25. <sighs> yeah, it'd be nice to get the bike out again. It'd be great if I could cycle to work, unfortunately. A bit too far. 
It takes me over an hour to get there. I spend about two to three hours a day now driving there and back. Although I can also uh, work on the stuff from home. Um, which is good. I might do more of that. That helps. So where, where are you off to next week? Are you going on holiday, Laurie? Or are you seeing folks or something? Stiff actually, because I had so little exercise this week. I've been very naughty. Um, oh, visiting a friend in Devon. Very nice. I like Devon. Um, I know someone down in Exeter. An old friend of mine. I've got another friend down in... Um, i trying to think where they are. Is it Devon or Cornwall? Near Red Roof, I think. No, wait a minute. Where's the coast near Red Roof? I forget now. Right, let me just change. So, um, what what are we going to do today? I tell you what, I was thinking of possibly doing is let me just bring up um, switch to a better view. I'm trying to select the right window. Okay, here we go. Might need to narrow that slightly. Uh, yeah, so if you look at it, this is um, clearly difficult to read. Let me just do something about the dimensions, actually. So as you can see here, if you look, this is the Black Crab firmware. One of the things I was thinking of, so if you look on the right hand side here, you can see what a ginormous file this is. What I was thinking of maybe doing is refactoring some of this because it will be really nice to start putting some of this in modules well i say modules um crates or modules so we could do spend some time doing that What does everyone think? That video looks slightly grainy. It's like there's interference on the um, board view. It's like I see um, some scanline interference, which is odd. Ooh. Sorry, I think excuse me for yawning. It has already been a long week. I 
need to find a guide to how to do crates because I've not done crates yet. Do I do it as a modular or crate? What's the difference? Hold on, let me have a look at the uh, Rust programming language book. There we go. Defining modules to control scope and privacy. In this section, we'll talk about modules and other parts of the module system, namely paths that allow you to name items, the use keyword that brings a path into scope, and the pub keyword to make the things public. We also discuss the as keyword, external packages, and the glob operator. Ew. Maybe we can look at this. Modules cheat sheet. Here we provide a quick reference on how modules, paths, use keyword, and a pub keyword work in the compiler. And how most developers organize hiccups, sorry, oh, most organizers, sorry, most dev developers organize their code. We'll be going through examples of each of these rules. Start from the crate root. Compiling the crate, the compiler first looks in the crate root file, usually source forward slash librs. I can't even remember what my structure is here. Let's just uh, remind myself. Is all my code in source? Good point. Yes. And uh, what should I be looking for? Does it have a librs or mainrs? Uh, is that a bit small? I could enlarge this actually. Uh, hold on. That might be a little too big, actually. Uh, there's a main RS. Do I need to add a lib RS? Start from the crate root. When compiling a crate, the compiler first looks in the crate root file, usually source forward slash lib RS for a library crate or source main RS for a binary crate. For code to compile, declaring modules. In the crate root file, you can declare new modules. Say you declare a garden module with a with mod garden, the compiler will look for the modules code in these places. In line with curly braces, replace the semicolon following mod garden. is the directory here so you have you have a directory of things in it so what is this saying um, declaring modules so I could just create a garden.rs in the file source garden slash mod rs so if we look at that structure hmm. Hmm. sorry I'm keeping myself up here more tea vicar So 
So do I create a subdirectory? Or do I just create a file? Go ahead, I'm just skimming ahead, just reading through what to do here. Okay, so what? let's have a look at what code I want to break down here. Um, give myself a bit more room. Move this over just slightly. You don't need to see all of that, I guess. Just take that away, give ourselves a bit more room. All right, so what do I have here? I've got to remind myself what I've got in this case. I've got a lot of scrappy stuff that I've got to fix as well, stuff that's half commented out. Oh, it's a bit of a mess. So let's just remind ourselves what we've got. <laughs> so there's a type here, HSPI. Um, that's a spy type. Implementation of command. <sighs> action roll, action, pop stop, flash, flash, flash. So some of these should probably go in their own. Um, their own files, I think. Things like Flash, for example. And then maybe the tr the traits that, that are being implemented need to go in a separate uh, file. A PGA, that can have its own file. Yeah, more FP, yeah. Oh, excuse me, crikey. And then what's this mod app? So this is part of the um, uh, main implementation for So this is basically the Arctic application construct, if you like. Um, so we can probably keep that in this file. The, the highlighting here is a bit strange for the types. Not sure I like that, but anyhow. Um, What's this? Hold on. So this is still the initialization task. Why is that right down here? It should be uh, tabbed across. It's very strange. I'll look at that in a minute. This is still part of the init. I'm really not sure about this type. 
highlighting. Is this actually written in the file or is this being added by the Rust analyzer? I forget. I'm not sure I want it quite as blocky and standy out as that. Might need to change the style sheet at some point. Right, and that's the end of the unit. Uh, can you see? Oh, you can't see the pop-ups. Yes, you can. Good. Um, so that returns the shared local stuff. And then we should see some functions. So this is the, or tasks, should I say, Arctic tasks. So this is just the idle task that doesn't really do anything. And then we have the uh, USB task, which is this one, which is processing the commands, etc. And then that's it. Those then call upon um, these various traits and stuff we've decided up here. So we probably want to pull out, maybe pull out the traits first. Um, I tried to abstract a trait for, I think I did it for the uh, FPGA. So you see these are implementations of the trait here. So, and there are going to be similar things for the um, um, oh that is the flash so the um, FPGA that implements device has a command write read and some other things that are peculiar to it. Okay. So Flash isn't actually implementing any traits yet. They're still working in the old fashioned way. Oh, yeah. So the traits I'm concerned with these two things implementing are device trait and action trait. So device trait provides a command function, a write function, a read function, and the action trait provides a run, prep, act, and complete. But it's the device trait that we need for the FPGA and Flash. Uh, i trying to remember what the action trait was for. God, I haven't looked at this code in months. Amazing how quickly you forget it. So I wonder if I can take some of this out. So what happens if I take out I've got command and the implementation of command action var structure which contains command no contains a command id which is equivalent to a du8 an action var new command self self command rip. Where is that used? Is that used by these traits, maybe? 
command let's just see right on me so I think where the action file is being used I've forgotten now um, so I think we probably need somewhere to put the device and action traits and maybe the action vars and the command structure and then we probably need a file to house the flash and its implementation and then same for the FPGA however is there something simpler we can start with um, we can just put in a um, yeah let's see if I can put these traits and device these traits and I don't know should I use action bar Sorry, I'm mumbling on folks. I'm just um, umming and eyeing what to do. Um, where would I put these? What would this be in? This is going to be interesting. Right, let's create a new file in source. Now, this I want to put here. What do I want to put? I want to put, let's put the, um, traits. I don't remember how I structured these. I'm just wondering if all of this stuff should go in one file. The action var, action, devices, and action. I think these were all meant to go together as part of the um, command control that's being operated, you know, over QSPIMEM, over the USB. So I'm wondering if these should all go in the same place. But that is all part of what, what would we name this as? We would name this as command control or device action something action something device control. Let's call it control. So let's just copy and paste this out. So I want to take these implementations and right up to the command egg. So let's take those out, put them in here. Thus Okay. File not included in module tree. Rust analyzer. Unlinked file. So it's saying that this isn't linked in. So what do I need to do to link that in? 
create a lib rs maybe um In the create root file, you can declare new modules. Say you declare a garden module with more garden. Compiler will look for your modules code to in this place. <coughs> so do I need to put here mod What did I call this? Control. Does it need caps or anything? Do I need a semicolon after that? I just fixed something. It added something somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where. Uh, do I need a semicolon on there? Stop complaining. Where did it add that to? Did it put it into? Hold on, I might have put it in my um, cargo tunnel. Oh, it's not recognizing tunnel files. Let me just fix that. Um, sorry, excuse me a sec. I'm pretty sure there's a plugin for this. Control RS. Um, Tomal. We're looking in Tomal. That's better. Um, it's not added it here. Did it add it in main? Yeah, it did. Ta da! So it's now being imported. Do I need a semicolon after that though? That's what's confusing me. In line with curly brackets, still place semicolon following my garden. Hold on, there's a squiggle here. What's that telling me? No, isn't like that. Unresolved module. Or maybe I don't need that there. So if I save that now, if I go back to my main, I've now got this. Is it now picking up my stuff? Let's have a look. Doesn't seem to have a problem finding that. I don't see it complaining about this. A 
Laurie's saying um, there doesn't seem to be much in common between the FPGA and the Flash at the moment. Flash uses Spy and FPGA uses QSpy. So are you just creating some separate modules rather than creating a library crate? Well, one of the things I wanted to do for the command structure was have some basic traits and commands. And then whatever was being commanded to do something would follow those. So they would have a, a standard behavior. The fact that they use spy or qspy was kind of irrelevant. So for example, if you look at the device trait here, it has a write, has a read, um, and then the, what was the other trait? I'm trying to remember what the other one was. Um, the action. Prep. Yeah, act, complete. God, I've forgotten why I structured, structured it that way. So basically, um, the way I did it this way is the I, the the interface would need prepping first. I it needs to do something before it's used. Then it would act on commands that are coming in, and then it would complete afterwards. I clean up. So this was more to do with the lifetime, you know, a pre or init type thing and a post type thing and then whilst it's live it's acting upon what it is commanded to do I think if I remember rightly Buffer. yeah so it's passed in a fixed buffer which it must then process yeah this was I did this a while ago Laurie forgive me so you know, I'm sure it will come back to me. But the point is, I'm already refactoring stuff, which is good. And that seems to be simple enough to do. Because I want to make this file much simpler. So, uh, Flash and FPGA should go in another file. So, let's create another file. Let's put in... What should we put in? Let's put flash in one for a start. Uh, yeah, not, not uppercase. So let's take um, flash out. Oops, too far. This scroll is super fast. Golly, gollies. Structure flash. Take that out and let's put it in here. Okay. And let's fix this. Far oh, not into the module. Quick fix, that should bring it in. So I now go back to main. I should see at the top here, yes. There we go. Flash. This is making things a bit easier, which is good. Let's just um, save that. And then I wanted an FPGA one as well, didn't I? So let's just copy this. FPGA. Oh, crikey, I've gone so far down. I'm basically just trying to make it a bit more manageable in terms of content and number of files. 
this stage. So this is already looking a bit slimmer. So now um, I, I'm, I'm almost going straight to the um, Arctic tasks. I will need to factor out the tasks at some point, but I need to remember how to do that. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I am, rather than creating a separate crate at this point, as you say, um, sorry, I am just trying to put them as modules in separate files. Already it's much more um, healthy. I'll tell you what would be interesting to, is to see if it still runs. That might be a good idea, might not it? Should we try and find out? Oh, can't remember what the... Uh, Command is yeah, that seems to be uh, starting up. is a good sign it compiled um, we could probably send something to it as well uh, what else have I got open I got some Python examples uh, should have something nice and simple here uh, seven seg tile maybe mm. I need to look under examples don't I uh, core examples let me just run I can do an LED blade probably forgotten where I was with this it's because I'm running it in the um, I just need to run it from here don't I I haven't run this for a while. I'm sure it's running it from If I run main, I've 
permission to do it. Oh, good. Um, hmm. What am I forgetting here? I've forgotten how to run my bloody things. Use Control R to find commands. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to remember what I was doing to run them because remember we had the problem of the um, path. What did we do to solve that? I can't remember now. Did we run them from a different level? Damn it. Look at it if I can remember because I didn't think we could run it from the debugger directly. Hold on. We did something and I can't remember what it was. No, that's not right. It's definitely not that. Damn it. This is all really old stuff. Come back too far here. Mm, this is annoying. From top level, Python free. Okay. Let me just try this. Uh, was it linky? Let's try that one first. Error while finding module specification. Is it because I'm in the MyStorm? Oh no, I should be in the MyStorm directory. That's where I'm, I'm pretty sure that's where we ran it from before. Open frame minus M, MyStorm dot example dot blinky. Is it because I've not got um, pi on the end of that? No. God, you walk away from something and you forget. For examples, maybe. Is it capital blink? Or is it just single? Did I correct it? No, I didn't. Uh, blink. There we go. Um, Like Python. I think Python 3 is default. Oh, no. Let's be specific just in case. Was it minus M? Did you say? Hmm. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise that you couldn't see what I'm doing. Let's fix that. Shall we? Um,
That's weird. Why can't I see this window? Am I going mad? So, uh, when I try running that, I get this unhelpful error. Module not found now. No module named MyStorm example. Blinky. Is that because I'm doing command M? Maybe I shouldn't be doing command M. No. Dots, not slashes. Ah, okay. Okie dokes, yes. I'm being a dimwit. And I probably do I need the dot per in the end? Probably not. Or do I? Um, do I need now? I'm forgetting the M. Yes, I'm being dim-witted. <laughs> this is Friday and I am exhausted, clearly. Yay! Goodness gracious me, that was difficult. We have Blinky working. That's all I wanted to do, run something. <laughs> that really sucked. I'm so out of touch with this. I haven't done it for a month. <laughs> He's a crazy. Ta-da! Blinky's working now, anyhow. Um, but we weren't here to be doing this. We were here to actually um, run the uh, firmware. So let's just go back to the firmware now that we know it's all working. Uh, black, black crab. And you can see here it said programmed IRB, which is very good. Marvellous. God, I'm getting a headache as well now. Oh. I need some water, I think. Cold water out of the fridge, no less. This appears to be a bit dusty. Oh, yes. And I think I've got to have a little um, sustenance. I've got some Genoa cake. I couldn't resist it. Walked past it in the shop earlier when I was picking up some bits this evening. Reduced Genoa cake, my goodness. So I my daughter and she's like, what's Genoa cake? Uh, it's just kind of fruit cake, you know. Been around since God knows when. Very popular. 
in the UK anyhow. Oh, it's a bit better. Right, so we've now got these separated into files. It's now working. That's good. That's the first part of this. I might have to look at um, this style sheet. I'm not sure I like that style of Hmm. It's very in your face, isn't it? That highlighting. I wonder where these are controlled from. I'm not going to do that now. I'll have to do that another time. Annoying though it is. Why is that right across there? That should be tapped in. Weird. Still lots of crap here as well. Let's go back to the top. I'm using pub here. Not sure if I need to. The keyword pub makes any module function or data structure accessible from inside of external modules. The pub keyword may also be used in a use declaration to re export an identifier from a namespace. Well, I'll leave it as pub for the moment, but we might need to think carefully about that. Okay. It's quiet tonight. Not many people in. Mind you, I don't normally do Fridays, I normally do Wednesdays. I couldn't do this Wednesday. Why couldn't I do it? I've forgotten now. I had a whole bunch of stuff going on. Winter is really busy. I think um, I think I might have been running about a bit backwards and forwards on Wednesday. What's well, up Thursday? Right, what about this HSPI? This is relevant to the peripheral configuration i'm not sure i necessarily want to have that somewhere else that's being used where are we using that that's interesting let me see if i highlight that Didn't it show me the references? I mean, it's not being used. It's be being used. Pretty sure I use this for the FPGA. Maybe that's an issue. HSPI. I'm just wondering if this might be um, out of date. Uh, was it capital H? I can't remember. HSPI. No. Flash. Yeah, it's used in the flash here, look. Not in the FPGA. Right. 
Where is new? Yeah, it's not used there. So it's um, actually used in the flash. Hmm. I was surprised that this isn't complaining that it can't see that. That type. Because I don't think I'm importing it in this. Does it automatically get to see anything that's in main? Because I'm referring to it here. But this is actually defined in main, not in this flash file. Or any, there's no import for it. Maybe it's because I've made, no, oh, no, I haven't made that public. Um, okay, a bit confusing. But it seems happy. So all these things, how does it know about this as well? Because I'm not importing that here, this type. It seems to be able to see the types that I'm importing from main. So in this case, PP12, I think. It seems to be able to see what main is imported. I thought that might be an issue, but clearly it's not. Interesting. It doesn't seem to have a problem using that. Likewise with that, which is defined in main. How does that work? Is it because, it's not because it's public here, right? Because that's making this public, not this. Ah, oh, that's pub. Maybe because it's public, you can see that. I wonder what happens if I go, if I take that out, save that. Oh, it's got a bunch of problems now, isn't it? Yeah, it's got a lot of problems now. Not just that, but the other stuff. We put it back. <laughs> really broken it. Oops. And put it back. Save. I've got some nasty squiggles to get rid of here. And I'll go back to here. Uh, now we're seeing a problem. It's because I didn't save it, maybe. That's weird. There's not any warnings here, what is that? No. See, it's now complaining it can't, can't find these things. But it wasn't doing that before. What on earth has changed? All I'd changed was that. And then put it back again. This is very strange. Maybe it didn't actually build properly.
unused import unused import a lot of these are just unused things but the flash is now complaining because it hasn't got this can't see this type so why did it see it before Oh, the quick fix. Ah, oh, no, I didn't want it to do that. Perhaps it was because the file wasn't saved. Surely you need mod declaration in Flash. And FPGA files. Declaring a mod file. Yeah, I think maybe you're right. It, maybe it's because I wasn't saving. As we said, And it was just building it the way it was working before. Excuse me, I've got a mouthful. Very rude of me. So this probably won't work now. Yeah. It doesn't know what these are. Oh no, it's pulling those in. Oh look, main RS, a similar name exists in the module flash. FPGA. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah, well that's what I started off doing. Um, FPGA was it caps? I can't remember now. Am I using caps here? I'm using a cap there. Uh, just leave it lowercase for the moment. It's a semicolon. No, it didn't like that. As Laurie says, I haven't written enough rust to be very sure about any of this. Yeah, I'm I'm a bit rusty. <laughs> it doesn't seem to like that. Because it thinks I'm importing it. Not sure. Yeah, it's just going to make it more, um, more, um, more tricky. Let me just remind myself what I put in main. So I've got control here.
control do I have to do use and then put those in do I have to do this kind of thing Yeah, that worked. This bit's a bit weird, I'll come back to that. That's basically importing from what's above here into Arctic, into the Arctic app, because it's a separate kind of namespace. Um, right. What is going to be a pain is the use of Specific pins. Remember these tight pins? So, in here, for example, it needs the HSPI. Let's move that. where it's relevant I in flash I think it's the only place I use it that should be happy now although it's not because it doesn't know what these are but yeah at least it's finding that now so PB12, we need, so if we go and look here, we've got a bunch of these things, that's PB6, PB4, PB12, ah, what the hell happened there, How did I? oh I must have hit the um, navigation point. Going to be quite a bit of refactoring here. Maybe if I'd done refactor, it would have done something a bit more clever, but I doubt it. Um, I'm now satisfying some constraints, but not others. I need PB12. Sorry. SPI2, PB12 I've got, I don't need PB4 and PB, I think, hmm, where am I using PB4 and PB6? So I don't need those in here. Why is that complaining about the space? We don't need that there now. That should be there now. But not registering. Oh, yes, so we need spy. This one. 
the cutler yours and enabled am I using enabled one wonders oh, what a joy we are having that should solve the enabled part as well come on update yay we're getting through it seems to be happy with types it's not happy because of print the print line macro it can't see I think I've pulled that have I pulled that in for I don't even know if that should be there actually that might need to come out I can leave that for the moment so flash RS looks happier now let's look at FPGA so we want PB6 and PB4 PB6 and PB4 so let's copy that again Those aren't needed there. PV6, PV4. Uh, we don't need PV12, do we? No, we don't need PV12 because that's in the flash file. Alternate and pin. We're not using those either. Okay, cool. Why is this squiggling after that? Unused import. PV4 not unused we're using it here oh it's because I haven't saved the analyzer doesn't seem to do anything till you save action var so we need to pull in uh, control rs I don't think I can do that without doing the thing at the top. Hold on, let's see what happens. Keep that separate because that's my own import. QSPI system to like action var. Now action var is that. So we need to pull that in specifically. Action command flash. Action var. And it doesn't like this because it can't find control because I need to have that. I don't actually know if I need to have control at this level. But I do need it at this level. I believe thus I should stop it moaning about that, right? Now if I save, oh, why doesn't it like that? Unresolved imports. Oh, it thinks that's FPGA control. What?
not seeing that as a module. Um, Unresolved imports. One minute, if I just not save this. So it isn't like that. <clears throat> One here, that was fine. But on here, it doesn't like it. Maybe I don't need that one. No, because that didn't like control. Is it because it's pog? Oh dear, it seems to be fine here when we're using it, but not so fine here. Is that because this is at the same level? Is it like, um, does it need to be a relative like that or something? Stupid. No. Uh, oh! I think that kind of works. Or not. No. Syntax error. Victor the name. No. Don't think it likes that. Okay. I have to do crate or something. Use crate. Ah. Hmm. Interesting. I've got to try and... Oh. Can't find that module. Which is interesting. But it seems to be happy with that. So that's using the enclosing crate maybe. Or within this, perhaps. Within the current crate, use module control. Maybe that's what that's saying. Oh, Laurie, 
Sorry to hear that. I was there on uh, Thursday with my daughter. Hope everything um, is okay. Or will be okay, perhaps. With your mum. Hmm. Worrying. Right, where was I? I did, I did that. Do I need to do this also? I probably need to do this in um, Flash at some point. Although not now, because I'm not actually implementing those. But I will need to do so. Yeah, I don't mind if you want to slope off, Laurie. If if you're dealing with that, mate, don't don't feel you have to hang around. She's been in and out of hospital. Ninety-seven. That's a good age. They've been really busy as well at uh, Frimley. I know that because um, because my daughter's having a baby and um, Frimley was her hospital. She's actually transferring now, but um, they actually can. They have uh, like a um, what do they call it? A maternity, um, not maternity emergency, but a maternity. Um, Kind of like an A and E for maternity. And it was actually closed a few weeks ago, and I had to take her all the way up to. Um, I forget what it's called. It's the one just, just above Slow. Is it Wessex Hospital or something? Miles away. Because they get really busy at Frimley at the moment. Really busy. And when my uh, youngest was ill in COVID, not because of COVID, something else, she was in Frimley as well. And they had really strict controls over going to see her. It was really tricky. Better now, obviously. But, um, yeah. Not a particularly big hospital. But it does get very busy. Yeah, I was literally there yesterday with my oldest. She was having a check up. Mm. Hard bit. I broke my teeth on that. That's all I need broken tooth. It's really difficult getting the dentist around here at the moment. My daughter's been trying to get one. My youngest. Unless you go private, obviously. And it's just delaying Q supplies while I'm here. Mm hmm. Oh, is that being used here? No. Let's 
Get that out of here. Put that into here. Let's fulfill those. What else are we missing? Device. Quite an important that. Oh, seem to have chopped it off. Wait, are you meant to do these alphabetically or what? Good news. Associated function new is private. Mm. Interesting. Delay MS. <sighs> Delay MS. Delay milliseconds. Where the hell am I importing that? Uh, maybe it's in this generic one not sure oh yeah I know your sister's close by normally isn't she I remember you telling me before but she's not around which is difficult What am I missing here? Is, is that where I'm pulling in? <sighs> Let me just copy that and see if that is the case. So, delay MS. Delay MS, delay MS. So if I put that here, does that do it? Yeah, that seems to satisfy it. I wonder if um, Delay, self dot delay. Self dot delay. Is this part of FPGA then? That's delay, sys delay. What? No, this can't be right. What is it that it's getting from Prolude? <sighs> it's annoying. Some of these things are private. Is that what the problem is here? Hmm.
Um, I'm a bit confused about this delay. Seems to think it's part of delay, and delay itself is defined as sys delay. Type sys delay. But we can't seem to find something that contains. Incoming pussycat. So why, if I can see the struct sister lay, why can't I see today sister lay? Okay, but when I'm using it here. Delay, which is this delay dot delay ms unknown delay ms found poor struck sys delay in current scope. The method is available for sys delay here delay dot rs. Oh, wait a minute, this is what it's saying. Prelude embedded how blocking delay. What? So what does quick fix do then? Uh, I don't think it did anything. Oh boy, save. Offering me more than one choice here, saying there is a uh, method is available for sister. Eh? So, wait a minute, do I do? But is that the same as that delay? I'm not importing that. That would be like saying. Uh, this ms like that
Chuck, not on my tool. So no, that's not the way to do it. I think it's something to do with this. Let me try. What happens if I do delay? Well, is that? Does that fix it? It doesn't seem like it should do. That looks wrong to me. But it does fix it. So I'm a bit confused about that. To be fair, why would that possibly fix it? Run name is not the same. Pub trait delay MS. You want to go back through the other way more twinkles. Have you been pissing your stuff? I'm just going to shut the window because it's um, actually getting a bit breezy. Oh, got a bit of chill on. The coolness has returned. We no longer have our heat wave. I think I've done the right thing importing that. Because when I had Star there before, you would import all of the things. Whereas here I'm just importing the necessary thing. But the naming is very confusing. But that obviously includes the trait delay MS. In fact, that probably includes lots of stuff. I've obviously got a problem with var here. These um, these are private fields. And remind myself what var is. Var, var, var. Self var. It's action var. So to fix those, do I need to make these public? The structures public. Command length index. Command length index. But these members aren't public. Um, I wonder what it says. Quick fix. No quick fixes available. <laughs> Oh dearie dearie. So um, I'm obviously doing this wrong. I mean if I do So which one were we looking at here? Var action var command, right? So let's just change command. If I make that pub save that and then go back here. Yeah, it solves the problem. So do I have to make these all pub? I clearly do. Or at least all the ones I'm uh, using. There could be some internal ones, but I'm not sure. Um, command width len, len index width target width target index and like yeah I think they all need to be public they're all being used 
Okay. I tell you what, it's so nice having a language where you can hide stuff and be more organized. Last few weeks going back to sea, it's been very interesting reminding myself about how to make things, you know, using static and stuff to hide things in files and things. It's a lot more awkward. So now this should be a lot less objectionable. Yes, a lot less squiggle, which is good. That looks like it's um, happy. Nice. A flash. Is that happy? Did we check transfer? Spy transfer. No method named transfer for struck spy in the current scope. Maybe it's the wrong spy. Spy two. Maybe this is the uh, a trait thing. So quick fix. Import cortex M prelude locking spy. That one. That seems to do it. Same with right. It's got both of those in. So I try to remember what the difference is between Cortex M prolude and what is it, device prolude or how prolude? I always forget. A bit rusty on my rust. How? These things seem to be happier now. Print LN. Yeah. I might want to just comment that out but temporarily. So I'm not using any of this now, interestingly. Let me just comment that out for a sec. Use RTT target print LM. Uh, that's being used in here. But maybe not outside. RTT target print LN. Oh, uh, yeah, so I don't need that here. I think I'm going to lose most of this stuff. Command action flash FPGA. Unresolved import. Yeah, well, flash isn't part of control. Would that be why? I think. But I can't. Uh, action flash FPGA. Take over command. I was just saying, we don't need these, maybe. Oh.
is bringing FPGA in. So that's from Crate. We need to import these two. Is it from Crate? FPGA and Flash. Hmm. Or maybe, 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 maybe these should be here. No, doesn't like that. No, no, no. Don't think I'm using those quite the way I should be. Hmm. Do I have to do use here maybe use FPGA? Get rid of it. No. If I put it here, then yeah, maybe. Yes. But what happens if? Can I do this? Does this work? No. I have to bring it in via the crate. So I need to do this as well. So I need to use flash. Come on, flash. Tell me, go on. And then I need to add here. Flash. And then I should be all in. Still have some stuff I've got to clean up here. But am I now pulling everything in that I need to pull in? <clears throat> Ice run. Qualify with crate control action. No, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is add it on here. Um, like glass. Let's 
see, this, this space is here. Bad formatting. But in order to do that, I need to. Okay, now let's just try compiling this actually. Um, soon tell me if it's got an issue. Here we go. Here we go. Associated function new is private. Source SPGA. So, why was I thinking? Pub. Public. New is public. Wait, am I reading the wrong freaking thing here? Uh, error. Associated function new is private. Action var. Action var new. That's not public which means it can only create it itself, which is fine if it's um, a singleton, but this isn't a singleton. <sighs> right, okay. Anything else? Whoa. Source main. Build SS of structure flash flash is private. Okay. Uh, this is SPI. Right, SS is private and SPI is private. I mean, I could always add functions to handle that, but there you go. Yay. Wee's it running. Let's try and run Blink again. Hold on. blinking right that will do me that will do me for this evening it is now 10 o'clock I've been streaming for a couple of hours that will do me I clearly need some more cleaning up here there's all sorts of stuff lying around and I need to work out whether I actually need that anymore but we have certainly reorganized it somewhat and I can probably delete a bunch of these although I've got stuff in here I'm not using that's commented out that I need to make some decisions on because I may need some of these includes for that but we've made some progress okay so I'm going to call it for this evening and I'm going to have a well-earned rest because I've knackered at the end of this week I might do some more over the weekend Oh, that's a pretty packed weekend, to be fair. Um, thank you for joining me anyhow, folks, this evening. And I will leave you to it. I will be on Discord, as usual. Uh, if you want to continue any discussions over the weekend, etc. Thanks, folks. See you soon.